We're going to take a look at the Voyager touch controller. That's this big black space right in the middle of the Voyager. I've actually complained about this before because it's like, look at this huge black void in the middle. But this controller is really quite amazing. It's a Bob Moog design. He originally had it uh, as a standalone unit that was used, for example, with Sinton modulars. But it's been incorporated into the face of the Voyager. And despite the fact that it is a big black void, it is extremely powerful and expressive. And here's how. There are four different outputs from this panel. We have the X axis, the Y axis, a touch axis, uh, which is not really an axis, but it does sense area. And it has a gate output. It will output a gate to control a, um, an envelope. So to demonstrate these axes, I'll start off easily with the X and Y. Here, um, I currently have it set so that Y is the filter cutoff and X is resonance. So if we go over here and we'll test out Y. You can plainly hear, if you recognize the sound of a filter cutoff, that that is what you're getting with this. And you know, how you touch it affects how the sound occurs. And you can drop your finger down. You know, it is like a ribbon in a way. It's like a big square ribbon. So you can touch your finger down anywhere you want, but for the purpose of illustration, I'm just gonna be over here on this side so that we're only dealing with the Y axis. Okay, now also we have the X axis, which I have set to resonance. So let's take a listen to that. So to clearly mark this, we have on this side of the X axis, we'll do Y. And then on this side of the X axis, we'll do Y. You can hear this filter sweep has resonance and this one does not. Okay, now of course, you don't have to stick to the sides, you can go anywhere. 